Hello, this is Lee, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. Today, I like to talk about temporomandibular joint disorder. Uh, it's also called a TMJ. So, if you have symptoms of facial pain, clicking of the lower jaw uh, joint, and sometimes your jaw joint will be locked, or you even have migraine triggered by this TMJ. Um, we have some um, acupressure point I can show you to gradually relieve this, those symptoms. And what causes those um, TMJ symptoms? One big uh, reason is stress. When you are stressed out, you are not sleeping um, in a very deep uh, sleep, so you're, you can clench your jaws and tighten up the jaw muscles. So that can cause this um, um, misalignment of the jaw. And also um, arthritis. If you are taking the Fosamax for osteoporosis, and it can cause the inflammation of the joint, and that can also lead to um, arthritis. Also, uh, in Chinese medicine, when you have a tooth grinding at night, you might have the parasite in your gut. So you need to check if there is a parasite and uh, use the herbs or other medication to treat this parasite. And that will relieve the tooth grinding while you are sleeping. So all of these causes can cause um, muscle tightness around the joint or um, misalignment of the joint. Um, how we can prevent this TMJ? First, you got to um, avoid excessive chewing gum or excessive yawning. And then you need to reduce your stress with acupuncture or the herbal tea. Um, by doing acupuncture, we can instantly relax the muscles around the temporal mandibular joint. And the joint, the points I want to show you, one is called the stomach seven. So if you find you the angle of the lower jaw and you go straight, and then uh, you will feel the indentation at the same level of your lower border of the ear. So the earlobe at the lower border, and you draw a parallel line, and then you go from your angle of the jaw, just go straight ahead, just um, in front of your earlobe. Then there is an indentation, and then try to press that. That will help instantly relieve the muscle tension, and you feel the pressure. So before you go to sleep, if you press this for a minute, and then go to another point, so when you clench your teeth, and then you find the highest point, of this muscle. And then, so this is another point you can press. And usually when patients have TMJ, when I press this point, which called the stomach five, and that also feel very sore. So you have these two points. And then the third point you can press is, so you, you find the outer corner of your eyes and go lateral side and then you feel the indentation, um, just lateral to your, to your eyes, and then you can press that. It's also called a tai yang. This is another point. So before you go to sleep, so you practice the, the points, stomach seven, and then stomach five, and then tai yang, alternate. Each point you press one minute, and alternate one side, and then the other side, and that will help to relax the muscles around the joint, so you won't um, have the joint misaligned when you are um, having a deep sleep. So if you want to have more information about this TMJ, and you can go to my website, um, and I usually write articles or case study about each condition so that you can learn how to relieve that with acupressure or acupuncture or some herbal tea.